All right, I am currently on a uh, cross Europe trip. Um, for some reason, I haven't been um, I haven't been talking about it apart from my blog. I, I really should have recorded some more videos, but hey, here I am. Um, so the whole way, I've done five, six thousand kilometers, right, uh, from Spain through the, uh, along the Mediterranean, uh, Monaco, the, through the Alps twice. Um, up to Luxembourg and then across to Czechoslovakia and then working my way through through East Europe. The whole way, these Garmin Vector 3 pedals have been pissing me off. Um, there's known issues, known issues with the battery cover that mean the, the battery kind of shake around in there. And if you have that problem, that causes dropouts. Um, it just means that they vanish and there's no power numbers for a while and then it comes back. Um, if you have that problem, you can get in touch with Garmin and they'll send you replacement covers and that's really easy to fix. I've had so many more problems than that. Um, the the right sensor just vanishes, right? Uh, so the left one will work, but I get pro uh, I get this little alert on my Garmin uh, Edge 520, and it just says right sensor missing. So I click OK, and then five seconds later it says right sensor missing. I'm like, yeah, I get it. Shut up, and it will do that all day long for fucking if i'm riding for eight hours it'll be doing it for eight hours it is so annoying so after a while i just took the batteries out of that one and accepted that i had one pedal and even that had problems so my right software was completely broken um the left hardware is completely broken so you'll see this little star uh nut screw here and what will happen is that will eventually work its way loose so it starts to come out a little bit and that means that the body here comes down um, so it will just kind of fall out a little bit and I have to smack it back into place, tighten it back up again. Um, and the first time I noticed this, this, the screw was so close to just falling out on the floor. Uh, now I can absolutely throw some, some Loctite in there, but I'm a little bit concerned about introducing like random stuff into the like internals of an electronic pedal. I don't know shit about what, what that would do. Um, and it was happening all the time. It would happen once or twice a week and it meant... I don't know. I don't know if it's chicken or egg. My my left cleat was constantly wobbling. Like there was a little bit of give. So every time I pedal, it would just move a little bit. The right didn't do this at all, but the left would do this every single time. And I don't know if um, the screw was coming loose, giving it room to play, which was therefore damaging the cleat. Look, Keo cleats. I feel like they're made out of butter. Pathetic. But I don't know if the play was causing it to wear down quickly and then extra wobble was making the play worse or the other way around. I don't know if it would just wear down because I happened to put my left foot on the floor um, and then the wear was causing the movement which was working the screw loose. I don't know which way around it was. Um, anyone who's looking on my Instagram might have seen I have done a bit of hike lacrosse but even when I put a brand new uh, cleat on it's still flipping about within a day or two. So. Uh, honestly, I, I'm really just fed up with the whole thing. Um, Garmin have been reasonable as a company. Uh, Garmin UK support, who I've been talking to, uh, were trying to get me a replacement pedal, but they kept sending me off to talk to Italy, and then I'd be out of Italy, you know, uh, before they'd even talk to me. Czech Republic support also ignored me for like a week or two. So I've been having to talk just to the Garmin UK, and... They had so many useless options for me. They're like, oh yeah, send in the pedals, and then what, 10 days later, we'll send you out some pedals. And I was like, okay, so I just won't have pedals for two weeks? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Um, and like, okay, we can do the express one. So you send us the pedals. We'll send you out pedals after two or three days. It just costs extra. I'm like, okay, so I still don't have pedals for like a week or two with all the shipping time included. Um, so they're like, okay, we can... Uh, if you send us the pedals, as soon as UPS confirm that they've picked it up, we'll then send you out the pedals. I'm like, Dude, I still won't have pedals for like a week. I'll have to buy pedals and then sell them or donate them. That's really fucking annoying. So they're like, fine, fine. If you give us 900 pounds, we'll post them out to you and you can just send them back within whatever, 30, you know, however long you want and we'll give you your money back. And at that point, I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> so they're letting me... Um, I shouldn't say fuck you, like they're letting me return them and they'll send me out a replacement to the UK. And in the meantime, I've just bought new pedals. I took the opportunity to switch to SPD, uh, you know, cross is coming. 